Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another video with the Golf Art. And today, well, I'm gonna be doing some stuff myself because pretty much everything you see on the car has, well, been done in my ownership, yes, but I haven't personally done it. I know a lot of people in the comments say that, why don't you do some stuff yourself? And basically it's down to two things, time and skills. I don't have neither to be honest, um, but there are a few things on the car which I want to do, some fairly straightforward, simple things. Um, and so that is basically the aim for today. I know one of them you're gonna like, uh, maybe, maybe two, but in most of my videos, at least one thing that I do to this car, most people hate it, so let's crack on. Okay, so the first one, it is a mod, but it, it's it, really anyone could fit this. Um, but I think it's pretty cool. Now, what it is, is a nice little custom plaque for the car, um, which is really cool. I actually found this company uh, that did this, or that, that offered these on Instagram. I think their name is Custom Car Plaques or something. Yeah, came across it. I thought, do you know what? That is really cool. And if you guys know your golfs, so you'll know that the club sports have a nice little plaque here on kind of the side of the dash. And so basically my thinking is to put this on there. So I think that'll look really smart. To be honest, I was gonna put this somewhere else in the interior, but where it's obviously a flat piece of metal, there's only so many places that I can put it. What I mean by that is basically this uh, gloss black piece in the middle was gonna be a location I was gonna put it, but it is a curved surface. I can't quite fit it in uh, up there just below the screen. Uh, and I don't really wanna put it anywhere like hidden away kind of down here or something. So yeah, but it's a really nice little piece. You can see here, kind of black bit of metal, got my logo on it, the plate, which of course on the car, and then my VIN number as well. Just a nice little little plaque to put on the interior. Of course, just got a bit of 3N tape on the back. Um, and then yeah, basically plan is to put it in there. If this goes well, then I might put one on the other side, but peel that off. And basically, I'm just gonna try and get this straight on there. There we go. Hardly a mod, but nice little tidy bit on there. I think that looks really cool actually. Very, very cool. Right, next up, it's time to do something with this. Probably the one part of the car which has the most discussion around it. The splitter on this car, <laughs> yes, it is wood. And yes, it's chassis mounted, it's pretty strong. But I do need to do some bits to it and that has always been the plan. First of all, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try painting it. Now, as it sits at the moment, yes, it does stick out quite a lot, but obviously where it's just the unfinished material, it is very obvious that it's wood. <laughs> um, so we're gonna try and paint it black. If I still don't like it, um, or if you still absolutely despise it, I will then try and cut it down. Um, to be honest, I think that will be the plan anyway, especially going into next year when this car goes back to the Nürburgring. Ultimately, we're gonna try and do that, which I know a lot of people are gonna be very excited about, seeing as the amount of comments, messages, and hate I've got from this. It does genuinely serve a purpose. So yeah, what we're gonna do, we're gonna mask the front end up. You can take the splitter off without taking the bumper off. There's basically some screws underneath, but I'm not gonna do that, to be honest. Um, I'm just gonna mask it up, clean the surface, prime it, and then paint it. And no, I'm not gonna paint it pink. Right, skip ahead a little bit of time. Done a quick bit of masking. Not overly fussed, really, because I mean, this air dam is black anyway. Um, but yeah, we got some just cheap rattle cans. <laughs> We're just gonna rattle can this, let's be honest. Um, I do need to uh, degrease it though. There's a few flies and things on it. Um, so I'll get all those off. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna put a quick layer of primer on it, then probably a couple of layers of black. We do have satin black. I think that'll probably be the best bet. Um, but this probably is gonna have to be done a couple times. Cause I mean, as you can see on here, actually, these are all stone chips. In fact, the worst ones here. So it's basically just chipped the top edge, or the top layer of the buffalo board, and it's kind of chipped it away. It's gonna get very stone chipped anyway, but I mean, from a glance, it will look a lot better than what it does at the moment anyway. But yeah, I mean, professional PPF job done on here. Um, but yeah, not overly fussed about it anyway. Um, but yeah, I think we'll get going with the primer, get a quick layer of that on, um, and then we'll get to work with the color. Great success, primer done. 
Might just leave it white to be honest, just to annoy you. <laughs> but yeah, that is just gonna be left to dry for a little while. A few little bits on the top, but I'm not overly fussed because it's just gonna get chipped up pretty quick anyway. Um, but yeah, then we're gonna give it a couple of coats of the uh, satin black. Then I think it will look quite cool. Primer's now all dry, ready for the first coat. So we're gonna give this a little go. Um, I, I must add as well, I've never painted anything like this before, so there's only one way that that can go, but we are going to dive in and see how this comes out. First coat down, and that is looking a lot better already. Ignore, obviously, all the overspray on the masking tape and on the ground as well. Um, weirdly, I don't know if there's like any moisture or something within the different layers of the splitter, but it's just not taking as well on the leading edge. That I'm not too worried about because that's going to be obviously the most vulnerable part of it. That's just the first coat. Obviously, I'm probably going to do two, maybe three. But yeah, I think this is going to look so much better once it's done. Okay, right. Moment of truth. All four coats are on and dry. We're now gonna get the masking off and basically see how this is gonna look. I'm gonna start from this side, just cause I feel that that's gonna be the easiest. Ooh, so far so good. Of course the air dam on this is black anyway. So if there is any bits on that, then it's not the end of the world cause it's black as well. <laughs> that looks really smart actually. Very, very cool. That is done. Yes. <laughs> that looks so much better. Right, now, what do you think? Is it still stupid or is it actually better now? Genuinely, this looks so much better. I know I should have listened to your guys' comments and done this a lot sooner. Yes, it does still need to be cut down, probably. But yeah, I mean, I'm interested to see what you guys think of it now. Now that it's now just sat in black, yeah, I'm very intrigued to see what you guys think. So uh, yeah, let me know down in the comments. Is it still really bad? <laughs> do you still hate it? Or is that a big improvement? Bear in mind as well, when I do cut it down, I'm thinking of basically just keeping this width here just all the way around the air dam. So it would basically be this bit which would then be cut off. Um, it'll be like a uniform uh, width of that all the way around. So that is what I'm thinking eventually, but at least for the time being, I think that is a huge improvement. I am very, very happy with that. Um, but yeah, with that said, I think on to the next mod. It is another day. I've actually been dailying this at the moment, <laughs> which is actually quite fun, um, but yeah. Got some more mods to fit this evening. Um, actually, kind of, kind of can see them behind me. Um, so I'm heading to a friend's unit actually to do this, mainly so we can then get the car jacked up on a ramp. So we'll head over there. I can actually show you what it is we're fitting, uh, and then we'll go from there. Okay, we are here and we have some parcels down by the rear. Now this has been something which I've been wanting to do for an awfully long time and it is actually referenced to the wheels, more specifically the wheel bolts. Of course, this is a stud nut kit. I also have some little eight mil spacers from Forge Motorsport as well to pop on the back because if we kind of pan around here, appreciate it is getting darker by the minute. You can see the rear wheels are tucked in a little bit and there is plenty of uh, room in here to have the wheels slightly poked out. I know it's not ideal to have spaces on a track car, but it's on the rear and it's only little eight mil ones. So that's what we've got in there. Obviously, we're gonna do that at the same time uh, as doing the stud and nut kit. I've never done anything like this before, um, so it could only really go one way, but we have everything we need. Um, so yeah, basically finally get this thing on a stud and nut kit because these wheel bolts are not, well, they're, they're ideal, but they're not really ideal for a track car. So yeah, I think we'll get to work. It is getting dark, so we have to improvise a little bit on lighting. But yeah, more DIY stuff is a go. Right, that is all done. How much better does that look? That looks proper now. Very, very cool, gloss black. Stud nut kit looking very, very snazzy. Like I said, something I've been wanting to do for an awfully long time on this car. Okay, next up, we're delving into the interior again. 
Uh, and it's gonna be something which, to be honest, well, again, similar to the stud nut kit, which I've been wanting to do for a long time. Now, the cool works in this car is amazing. Really, really like it. Something I did uh, before all of the interior build. I think it was one of the first modifications I did uh, on the interior. Well, guess what? At this point, my microphone decided enough was enough. It's been a long day and it decided to run out of battery, which is not ideal. Now, yeah, I get it. It was slightly late at night after doing a load of other stuff and a load of other filming earlier on the day. So the mic <laughs> had a long stint. And so, yeah, basically enough was enough for that, um, which is annoying, really, because it was actually quite an interesting section of footage. Fairly straightforward to uh, install, really. And a big thank you does go to a good friend of mine, Clayton, uh, for actually sorting me out and manufacturing this extension. It's not something which I don't believe is on the open market. Uh, it's certainly not something which Coolworks do. Um, and so, yeah, a big thank you to him for uh, yeah, sorting me out on this. Um, and to be honest, having now uh, driven the car with it, it's made a very, very big difference indeed. Something which I wish I did before because the, the Coolworks does sit quite low in this car. I don't know, for some reason, maybe because it's uh, mounted from the bottom rather than the top mounted. So yeah, it has made a big difference. And again, a big shout out to Clayton for sorting me out with this. It's time now for the final modification for today's video. And that is actually, well, fairly obviously in this box. Uh, we've got a new set of mirror covers. I know a very small mod, but actually this was one of the few things I did to my original Golf R, my Mark 7.5. So long-term subscribers will of course remember that car. Um, what we've got in here is, well, exactly what was on that car actually, some carbon fiber uh, mirror covers just to really tidy up this. Because there is quite a lot of carbon on the car now, it made sense, but initially, uh, I wasn't actually planning on changing these because it kind of matches the interior and the wheels. They are now though a little bit battered, like check that out for a stone chip there. That is not ideal. But of course, as I mentioned now, I do have quite a bit of carbon, which is nearby to the mirror, such as the bonnet and the wings. I think it would make sense if the mirror caps were also carbon, of course, nice little interior piece of carbon in there. Um, so yeah, essentially that is what we have to fit here. Look at that, lovely. Now, if my memory serves me correctly, it's pretty straightforward to fit these. You don't actually need any tools whatsoever. What we've got to do is kind of tip the mirror over to one side and then the mirror should come unclicked like that. These little wires here are actually due to um, this being a heated mirror. I'm not overly fussed about those for one very valid reason. Um, the wiring loom, which actually powers the heated mirrors, is no longer in the car. So those are completely redundant. So I'm not overly fussed about really damaging them or anything. I'm pretty sure they are corroded right in there to the connectors. So. I'm going to do the cowboy approach and let it dangle. And then in here, we have two little clips on the underside of the mirror. Clip those out, OEM mirror cover off, and then we'll be able to put the carbon one over the top. Five minute job should make a big, big difference indeed. Let's dive straight in then. Try not to snap the clips, that'd be funny. Well, there you go. One nice fresh one. Hopefully this one won't end up on the floor as well. Uh, and then yeah, basically just a case of lining up the same clips and popping it in. Bosh. Before versus after. Small little things. Now you've got hints of carbon pretty much everywhere you look. You've got the seats, the bonnet vents, the wing vents, the mirrors, the little interior pieces in there. That looks really cool, actually. Why didn't I do that before? Such a quick and easy thing, which makes such a big difference. Same thing on this side, push the mirror in towards the edge, then stick your thumb in, pop out the mirror. Again, as you can see, those connectors are pretty corroded. So if you've got a high mileage car like mine or slightly older car, then those might be a little bit tricky to get out. I'm not too fussed for the reason I mentioned, so we're just gonna very carefully let it dangle. Ta-da! Lovely. Get the other one from the box. Then we kind of have to go in at a bit of a funky angle because this clip here, the right-hand one, is very fiddly to get in. Once you've got that in, then the other one kind of naturally fits in like that. 
And there we go, all done. Mirrors back in, all in place, sorted. Some nice carbon mirrors now on the car. There we are then. That is some nice DIY mods done to my Golf R. A lot of people often tell me, why don't I do more things to my own cars? And if I'm completely honest, it's because I often feel completely out of my depth. Some of the things that I've done in this video have kind of stretched that, I'll be honest. Um, and it's gonna be an aim of mine to do more, do more on my cars because it is good fun. I've got a load of mates who I hang out with and they often are doing things to my cars. And I'd like to join in and do some things to mine. So yeah, no, it was good fun. I have really enjoyed it. And um, I think overall, with the bits that we have done, it's made quite a lot of difference actually. And I'm very happy with my handiwork. You guys are gonna have to let me know what you guys think of everything that I have done in today's video. Having now actually painted it black, which is what I should have done a long time ago, it's made a huge difference. You kind of don't notice it as much, um, and I haven't yet cut it down uh, as well. Uh, of course, the stud and nut kit, the shifter extension, the carbon mirror caps, uh, yeah, I'm very happy. Oh, and also the rear spacers as well, the eight millimeter spacers. Um, yeah, really, really happy with everything um, and how nothing has gone wrong. Too wrong, touch wood. <laughs> Hang on. There we go. Knew there was a use for it. But yeah, I mean, overall, something a bit different for me. I don't often do this kind of thing hands-on. Uh, I'm going to do it a lot more. And in fact, I do have some ideas from some different series on the channel where I can kind of get more involved in my own projects. So yeah, let me know what you guys think, especially with the splitter. Very intrigued to see what you guys uh, now think of it now that it's now a different color. But for me today, that is going to wrap things up. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe for all the adventures still to come.